Hi, welcome. My name is Eric Dubois and we're going to talk about the Sardi icons. It's one of my projects. I keep uh, track and work and I update always. And uh, here you find more information about all the Sardi icons. We're going to make four videos. One is I'm going to show you in this video what Sardi looks like. Two, a video to how to install it on any distro because uh, Sardi is meant to be installed on any Linux system, of course, Linux only. Then I'm gonna show you in video three that Sardi is really flexible. It is super flexible. It has scripts. If you don't like the color, you change the color. There are 16 million colors to choose from. Choose one, run, five seconds later, you have a new icon theme. And then the third video is going to be about, or the fourth video already, is going to be about modularity. It's about, hey, uh, what can I do? Can I switch things? Can I uh, mix other icons with it? Yes, of course. And our fifth video is going to be about Sally Extra. All these elements, all these, um, writing it down, right? That's the fifth one. Um, is going to be about um, 100... We will we end up with 100 uh, icon versions. I mean, you have uh, all these scripts and you run these scripts. If you run them all, you get uh, about 105 different icon themes. And the last page is just uh, to show you guys how many, uh, well, distros I have visited in the years and how many distros are supported. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at the and we're on xfce so we go to appearance here in icons and here you see all the sardi icons that we have available so this is what sardi looks like and we start with the the main one which is uh, sardi itself so there are variations of a theme so it started one day with ardis and then i changed the code and three years later we have 20 of those not just one okay so we have differences yes there are five main um, icon blocks uh, engines let's call them engines so the sadly is the main engine uh, everything inherits everything the others inherit or uh, get uh, information from the sadly so deleting the sadly would be a bad idea so the Sardi is the main one. There is another main one, which is Sardi Flat, which is this. So the icons look like this now. Okay. Old. I'm just getting my wallpaper back here. Um, so um, that's the flat look. Right. Okay. You see it on top here as well. And I'm just skipping ahead now to the main ones. That's the main one again. again. So uh, everything is blue. It's the Arc blue color, by the way, Arc Linux color. And we have then Sardi Flexible, there's Sardi Ghost Flexible, everything is white. The fun in this is when you script this and you say, I want everything red, it's just uh, changing it to red and five seconds later, everything is here then red. That's the flexibility I'll explain later. Sardi Mono is one. So this is everything grayed out, I like that particularly, but hey, uh, you have to change from time to time. So all monos, you see, all different variations. And then the fifth one is a Sardi Orb Colora, which is more or less looking the same as the flats. And what we do is we draw a little a circle in the middle, not around it, but in the middle. So it's a little bit of variation to have. Okay, so those are the five main, uh, well, blocks or engines, we call them, okay? So if you want to have Sardi, but then with another color, then you use this one. And Colora means you have here uh, scripts to change this from orange to any color you want, any of the 16 million. So Sardi Flat was an engine. So Sardi Flat Colora, again, here you can make all the scripts and change this orange into anything you want. This is EvoPop. So here we are mixing ourselves the folders from EvoPop, which we thank we, that he made it, but we can't change it, I believe. It's, I think it's PNGs. But hey, here it is. You have now the combination of flat icons with 
the evo pop so this is an example of modularity using stuff from other people and then getting it behind the engine of the Sally flat icon so behind these apps Sally flexible we saw that that's one of the engines and if you want to have an other color for your a folder you can do so because there are scripts inside again this is from love um, templates of, of, of icons so we borrowed the folders and these are SVGs and that's why there is Colora behind it so we can change these to the red ones or the blue ones or green one or yellow one whatever color you want here we have the static ghost flexible that's one of the engines but this one is then uh, the same button with other folders normal folders this is quite specific kind of look and if you press ctrl h it becomes even weirder so if you say oh, no 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 i'm just gonna take the normal standard but then with all the wide ones that's possible too sadly mono arched has been initially created for arch labs uh, back uh, one year ago and this is the look and we have then the mono icons like so with the folders coming from I think a uh, Bunsen lab theme if I remember correctly oh it says it here okay and then Sardi Mono is um, well the standard engine again eh? this is the standard uh, main folder where everything is set and everybody and all the Sardi Monos are inheriting from these five engines that's how it works so we don't have lots of megabytes to install they just inherit from the other one i'll explain that in other tutorials so sadly monocolora if you don't like the colors whoops if you don't like the color you can change these colors these elements that one that one you can change all these things with a script i used to i used to be uh, three months um i mean all right my son just came in he settled so the Sadi Mono X Gray, we have here these icons from uh, Linux Mint. I've been using Linux Mint since version 16, I believe. And we're now 18.3, so I found them, well, that's why I, this was my first attempt to figure out how these uh, icons worked, because I've learned it all myself. myself. All right, so we have that. Sadi Mono Numix, loved the Numix um, theme. Um, so I said, hey, could I not combine their folders with my icons? And yes, you can. So that's a modularity again. Sadi Mono Numix Color. Can we change the Numix colors? Because they're awesome, but sometimes you have to get the wallpaper in or you have a conkey and you want to change the color of the Numix folders. You can if there is color behind it. Papyrus is also a very interesting theme, a nice uh, folders. So I said, hmm, could I combine them with Sadimono? So I've done that as well. And last but not least, we are so grateful that Horse 180 is uh, working on our ARC theme and has this beautiful um, ARC folder because there's another one, the ARC folders as well. Uh, that's coming from him and in combination with Sadimono. And this is the Sadly Orb Colora, which is again an engine and has its folders, which you can change because there is Colora behind it. I think I missed here the Sadly Flexible Arc somewhere. There is an Arc we have as well. So this one is from Horse 3180. Looks quite nice, these colors of folders, very professional. So they are in there. And that has been the overview of uh, Sadly 9.6.0. So if you like it, you can go to video number two, which is going to be about the installation. All right. Cheers.